up everybody it's me miss ebony v welcome back or to my channel if this is your first time here thanks so much for joining me today i do hope you'll consider hitting that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from me if you're returning hey shook muffin all right y'all happy monday yes we have another human hair slay on a monday all right so let me go ahead and give y'all a little disclaimer it is a bulk recording day so you may see this shirt and this makeup look in another video this week because hey look it's bulk recording day and i am in the process of moving which is stressful enough and i needed to get these videos done today so my husband can stop giving me the side eye because i'm not packing <laughs> and i'm choosing to record so that i can go ahead and pack all right, so today's video is a sponsored video from an Amazon vendor. They go by the name of Stir or Stare, S-T-E-R, pronounce it as you may. And I am reviewing their pre-plucked Brazilian Deep Wave Tea Part Lace Front Wig. Now with this Tea Part, it comes 13 by 4 by 1. Yeah. It, 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 it was new to me too. We'll get into that a little more in detail later on in the video. But this unit originally came as a 613 blonde unit with baby hairs, 150% density, and 14 inches. So huge shout out to Stare or Stir on Amazon for sending me this unit and sponsoring this video. I truly appreciate it. All right, y'all. So let's go ahead and dive into the unboxing coloring, styling, and installing of this unit. All right, y'all, so here's how the hair came packaged and they were kind enough to include wig cap and lashes. So this is what the hair looks like, this deep wave texture straight out of the package. This is what the hairline looks like, and it does have a standard cap construction with the two combs on the side, one in the middle, one in the back, and the adjustable straps. Now, as you can see, this is not that free parting area. You only get this tea parting space. All right, so for the coloring process, I have my hot boiling water, my little mini whisk, and a detangling brush. I'll also be using this tinting brush to add some of this Gorilla Snot Gel to the bottom of the lace to keep the dye from bleeding through the lace and turning it whatever color I dye it. Then I'm just gonna blow dry it a little bit to make sure it's pretty much set in place. So for this look, I'm going for the reverse ombre look again, and I'm using this rich amber, which is the color I used on my previous unit that I colored. I absolutely love how this color came out, and I still had some left, so I decided to use it again. I always start off by just using a half a bottle, and then I'll add more later, but now I'm just going to add some of this hot water and blend it all together, make sure there are no lumps in the water. Now I always use a paper towel to test the color to see if it's the color that I want, but you could also just dip like a piece of the blonde hair into the water to make sure that it is the color that you desire. So I'm starting off by putting the root end of the hair in the water first because that is where I want most of this color to be focused. So I'm just continuing to mix all of the hair into the water, making sure that all of the hair strands are being colored and then I'm just going to use my brush to brush through and that is a better way to make sure all of the strands are getting some color. So as you can see the hair has absorbed most of the color that was in the bowl so I'm just going to remove it and add some more dye to the water um, just so the color is a little more rich. And with this second go round I just pretty much let the hair sit in the water for several minutes before removing it. I would normally wear gloves with this process, but I just didn't this time. I got lazy and didn't feel like going to get them, but I do highly recommend using gloves. So now I'm just gonna add some of this off black color to the water. And while the um, wig was sitting in the other color, I had to go back downstairs and get some more boiling water from the kitchen. So I'm gonna make sure I add some of that as well because you want the water to be hot, of course. And because I'm going for the reverse ombre color, I'm only going to be adding the tips of the hair or the ends of the hair to the water just to get a little black coating on the ends. And this is how the hair came out, which I am quite pleased with. So of course I just let it air dry overnight. 
Now, in my opinion, it doesn't look as deep wave as it did before. So I'm going to add some of this argan oil, this Justice Professional argan oil all throughout the hair and begin deep waving it myself with my um, wave iron. And this is a bedhead wave iron that I've had for some time. I got it off of Amazon and it is adjustable as you can see. I absolutely love this iron. I have it on the highest setting at 400 degrees. So I'm not going to bore you with doing the whole head or showing the whole head, um, but I did add some of this um, got to be insta hold. And here is the final result with all of the hair deep waved. And now I'm just going to go ahead and tint my lace using my Kiss Cream Foundation in the color Rich Mahogany. They were definitely not stingy with the lace on this unit, so I had to go in and get some of that off of my eyebrows that I worked so hard on because it is in the way. Now I'm just cutting slits in this middle section that I plan to glue down. I do not plan to glue down the sides, only this middle portion. I'm gonna be using my bedhead spray to secure the lace. Now, because this was a blonde unit, as you can see, any sudden movement and your blonde cap will be exposed. So you can definitely go in um, with some of your contour powder, I would recommend. That's what I use um, on my previous unit. I didn't bother to do it this time, but that's definitely an option. And just kind of go through um, every row of the tracks and just, you know, camouflage that blonde color. All right, y'all, so let's get into my thoughts on this one. So she's definitely serving a super cute look and style. Y'all know I'm a fan of waves. You know I'm a fan of this color. Some of the pros with this wig is that it actually colors well. Of course, with the watercolor method, that is like the easiest way to color a unit. If you ever want to practice coloring a unit, that's the easiest way, y'all. Just get you some hot water and some hair color. You can do this. You can do this. Another pro is the fact that, of course, it is human hair, so you have styling options. I decided to use my deep wave iron, but you can definitely throw in some um, wand curls or, you know, looser curls, whatever you desire. You have styling options. I also think that this is a very comfortable length. I mean, it's, it came as 14 inches. I did snip off some of the ends because they were a little frayed, um, but super comfortable length. It's not like a whole lot of hair in your way. Now for some of the cons, y'all. This baby did claim to come pre-plucked. I must disagree. There was no pre-plucking going on or no pre-plucation as my girl Phoebe Rome would say. <laughs> there was no pre-plucation. No, no, no. Stop telling me that when that's not true. Another con for me is that it says it's 150% density. I'm not feeling 150% density. When I was curling it, I was just like, oh my God, this hair is so thin. It's really thin. I think the deep wave style is saving it and making it look a lot fuller than it really is. Another con for me is that the hair feels really dry and it could be because it was blonde. Of course, it started out as a 613 blonde color. We all know blonde units tend to be a little more dry um, because it, it's pretty much stripped from its natural color. So yeah, it does tend to be a little more dry. So with the T-part lace, you're getting 13 inches from ear to ear, 13 inches by four inches of this one little parting space by one inch of space right here. So you don't have a whole lot of wiggle room. That's why I decided not to even bother plucking it this time. Like I did with the previous one that was very similar to this. Um, I did go in and pluck that, but I, it felt like it was taking me forever. And so I didn't even try or bother with this one. I was just like, mm -mm, I don't have time. So that's why I added the little swoops to try to make it look as natural as possible. But if you're one of those people that really like a pre-pre, you know, really pre-plucked hairline, 
then you either gonna have to put in some work or you might not want to bother being honest i am really feeling the color that this came out to be this is super cute it's very sultry i'm getting sultry vibes from the color and the waves super cute to me all right so again this unit can be found on amazon for a whopping $84.99 again it is human hair it does come blonde so you have a variety of options when it comes to your color or styling once again i like to thank this company stir or stare for sending me this unit i truly appreciate it Thanks to you all for sticking around and watching this video. If you have made it this far, go ahead and drop me a green heart emoji down in the comments below to represent self-love. Mm -hmm. Self-love. Yes. That way I know you made it all the way to the end of the video, which I am truly, truly grateful for. I appreciate you. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. Please let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. What do you think about this unit? What color would you dye it? How would you style it? Do you like the way that I style it? Let's chat about her in the comments below. Please be sure to thumbs up this video. Hit that subscribe button if you have not. And I'll be sure to catch you lovely people in the next video. Ooh, I, uh, you're all